So it's the beginning of October now and we've finally managed to get a date in the calendar. We're at the beautiful Dolly Mill and it's looking absolutely brilliant. We've been trying to get this in the calendar for a while, but yeah, it's been a long time coming, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. It has, pal, and if I'm honest, what a place to be. It looks absolutely mega. We've been here a few hours now. We've got all this gear sorted, ready for tonight, and done a couple of laps, but there's a lot more fish up this top end. So I think we're going to kick it off with a little bit of stalking. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I've been out in the boat, had a bit of a donk around with the lead to see what I can find. And I found three really nice spots that I'm quite happy with, so. Yeah, I'm sorted for the night after that, but I think, yeah, let's get yeah. some rods out and go for some stalking because they're definitely active in that bottom corner. Yeah, I think well that's a good for bite. Yeah, let's get going. I started off on the other side of Josh, but um, yeah, there wasn't really anything there. There was probably one fish which I, well, I spooked as I was walking down there. So um, I've come the other side of Josh now into a little corner where there's quite a lot of leaf litter. Um, there's a couple of sets of pads either side of me, but yeah, there's, there's a lot of fish down here. I've um, just dropped my rod in just over the back of it. There was one showed right in the middle of all the leaf litter. I thought this was a perfect chance while there's a bit of disturbance. So quickly flicked the rod back, drew it back a little bit, and um, yeah, just dropped it in. A couple of, well, a small handful of pellet and some chopped oily over the top. And there's still fish here, so fingers crossed we'll, um, we'll catch one fairly soon. But it's looking good. It is looking good. The wind's pushing in here as well. It's nice and warm, so fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Pretty similar to fishing early spring, in it? Yeah. I just think they're, they're just going to keep moving about. Yeah. I think if we have one from down here, it'll definitely push them out anyway. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're going to have one tonight. I think we'd have had one by now, wouldn't we? The amount of fish that was here, I think if we hadn't pushed them off, then yeah. Yeah, we'd have had one. they're not here in numbers they were either, are they? No. No, they're definitely more spread out, but... Uh... Yeah, I think we'll go out and we'll find some proper spots now. So I've just got back from putting the first rod out. I'd like to say it went smoothly, but it didn't. I put an old rig on just to glide across the area to make sure it was as clean as I thought it was. And yeah, it, it was, but there was a massive branch on the spot and I've picked that up and had to untangle it while I was out in the water, which isn't as easy as you think. Um, but yeah, I've, I've put the rod out and all around that spot is sort of real sort of soft silt. And then in the middle of it, there's just one spot where it just really cracks down with the lead. So fingers crossed I've put probably a scoop and a bit of bait out over the top of the rig fairly accurately and um, yeah we'll, we'll see how that one goes I've got another couple of rods to put out but yeah I'm I'm really confident on that one Well, that's my rods out. I've, um, I've been at it both for all three rods and I've put them all on different spots. So I've started off down this bottom corner down here and there's an overhanging tree with a lot of thick silt around it and then in the middle of all silt is a really firm area. I dropped a pop-up down at the bottom with a light scattering of hemp and tigers. 
And then my middle rod up here, I've gone for something a bit different. I fished a wafter with a couple of maggots on it and baited just maggot and crushed up tigers, just trying to be a little bit different. And then this right hand rod, I've put it up to some pads on far bank and I've just fished what I'm confident in really. Just a little snowman presentation with a few baits around it. And that's it really. Last night, I was like a kid at Christmas. I could not wait to get here this morning because I'm not being funny out. Anyone and everyone knows Dolly Mill. And stock that's in it these days is 25 fish over 30 pound and a 40, a 40 plus fully scale mirror as well. So to have a stock like that in any, any lake, it's absolutely unreal. Rods are out then, are you happy? Yeah, I'm, um, I'm more than happy if I'm honest. Rods went out pretty quick if I'm honest. Um, there's a few fishing areas, so there's always a chance. What about you? Yeah, yeah, rods are out. Got them all out exactly where I wanted them, so I dropped them all the, with the boat, so. Yeah, I've done what I can. I'm not confident there's that many fish down there, but I've seen a couple not too far from where I'm fishing, so we'll see, we'll I, see. I do think they are going to push up here, though, as session goes along. Um, if all if all is to happen on this side, I think it is going to push a lot of them straight up here, especially with how small it is. Yeah, I think with the wind pushing down there, it's been quite warm today. They're probably sat on the end of it, but as it drops off tomorrow night, I do feel like they're going to push down there later this week. But we'll see. yeah, we'll see. Definitely. If not, we'll get to stalking and yeah. there's opportunities everywhere, isn't there? There've been fish spread fairly well around, so I've got some bait in the corner down there. So yeah, yeah I think that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm going to have a day just sat down on them snags because there's that many fish at backer. And when I went to put some bait down earlier, they were, just, they were still sat at backer even though I've been out in boat. So we'll see. Yeah, they're obviously quite happy down there, aren't they? So yeah, hundred percent. Fingers crossed you have a couple then. Yeah. I'm sure you that's, will. That's it, pal. That's it. Get the barbecue on. Yeah. That'll do for me. Cool. Well, good morning. It was quite a quiet night last night. We um, spent the evening having a barbecue until the, the late hours and then, yeah, all crawled into our beds. It's been a quiet night, not much really happening. I've had a couple of liners going through the night. I, I kind of expected something to happen, if I'm honest, but it didn't, nothing's materialized. So I got up really early this morning, kept my eyes in the water. I was up through the night as well, just trying to hear out for them signs, it's autumn. They tend to get a bit more active in the night, so. Yeah, I was kind of hoping for that, but yeah, I wound in at six o'clock this morning, came around here where I'd baited yesterday because I just feel like there's an opportunity in these these pads. Seen a few fish down here this morning as well, so yeah, I'm feeling confident. Just got to keep going now and hope that something happens, but as I say, there's been a few crashing around. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. At the minute, I'm just gonna get the kettle on, chill out, have another coffee, and yeah, we'll keep you updated as it goes, but. Yeah, fingers crossed something happens. I've done the same as Dan this morning. I've um, decided to reel rods in and come round stalking into this little corner. There were a lot of fish here yesterday morning, or at, well, late morning, just at sun came, pushing onto this tree line. So I decided to come round and try and beat fish this morning and try and get an early bite. That were unexpected. I don't think he's a big fish. Come on. Just 
can't get that fan on a little bit there. Pressure's off a bit now. It's a nice stocky. I weren't really expecting that. I've just asked Tom to watch Rod a minute while I went round and got a bucket. So I was expecting a few hours being round here, but just got to my van and I heard Tom shouting me. And I've had to run round here as fast as I can while Tom's playing a fish. And it looks like we've got a nice little stock here. So let's get it out and have a look. Well, a change of plan this morning, changed fortune really. I've reeled my three rods in out of peg and I came stalking in this bottom corner. And we in a couple of hours, the rod were away. And it took pressure off if I'm honest. It's, I can enjoy it rest of the session now. It's not one of the biggest fish that Dolly Mill holds, but it's a fish that's certainly gonna grow on to be one of the future big ones with shape it, with its little head and big shoulders. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put rods back out now and Dan's already stalking and he's seen a couple in that corner so let's see what rest of the session holds. Well as you've just seen Josh has just had a fish and um, that spot that I was fishing at the other end of the lake has gone completely dead. There's not a fish down there. So I've come around to a spot that I baited yesterday. Spent a little bit of time fishing it yesterday because there was a few fish mooching about the area as well. So I've just got the baiting pole out, dropped it on the edge of these pads. And yeah, as I said to Josh, got a nice firm thud with the lead. So yeah, I'm quite happy. There's still a few fish cruising about. So it's just a waiting game now. I've changed my rig over from what was a a wafter to a pop-up just to make sure that we're covering all bases. I went around in one of my rods this morning, a bit of um, leaf litter and all that on the actual rig itself. So yeah, just to be on the safe side, just a little pop-up over the top now. And hopefully that'll reduce any, any danger of getting caught in anything. So yeah, gonna sit back, get the kettle on and yeah, hope for the best, but it's looking good, it's looking good. I think there's still a chance up until dinner at least. So down here, we weren't until dinner yeah. yesterday. They so spent a lot of time down here yesterday. There's definitely nothing up the other end, so. I just think this rain's gonna knock it coming into this afternoon. I don't know yeah. if tonight to fish a rod down here from actual peg, you know, to see it coming around in bad weather in the morning. I think, so. I think that could be a good chance. I think the weather's meant to be all right in the morning though, so. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, it's just this perfect. afternoon that it's gonna rain, so. Yeah, well, we'll get these sorted and we'll go from here, eh? Yeah. Well, um, after that fish, we both decided to have a reel in, rest areas for a bit, and have a quick lap. We're um, going to get set for at night now. Dan's at it, but just trying to find a few different spots, a bit of a clear area, and somewhere a bit different to last night because there's a lot more silkweed out there than we anticipated, and a couple of rigs came in with a bit of sediment on it, so we're going to try and find a few more clear areas and go from there. In the meantime, we're going to um, get some rigs tied up because this morning I had a fish on a pop up. So I think tonight I'm going to tie three inches up and drop them on a couple of new areas and put one on the same spot that I had that fish on from this morning. So while Dan's in boat getting wet through, I think I'm going to knock these up and crack on. So 
So I just went to sort my rigs out for tonight and I noticed on a bit of a closer inspection that one of my rods that I had a liner on last night, the um, hook point is quite badly burred over. Normally it doesn't really happen just from dropping it from a boat. So I'm kind of, I'm pretty sure that it's been picked up by a fish. So it's probably what the liner was. So yeah, I'm, although it's frustrating, it's one of them. I've, I've managed to find a spot where fish are feeding. So yeah, we're, we're gonna drop it back on that spot again tonight. But I've just been out of the boat, as you can tell, I'm absolutely soaking. And um, just been over, just double checking all my spots with a grappling lead. Just run it across them and they're all absolutely gleaming. Lovely spots. So yeah, I'm gonna get them back on two of the same spots. And I've seen a fish show this morning while I was doing a bit of stalking. So I just had a bit of a drop with the lead there. And um, I found some, it was quite thick weed all dying off, but there was some, some fresh air stuff there. And as I'm pulling it out, there's loads of naturals on it. And it, I don't know, it's weird. It, it just sort of smells like fish. So yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna have a bit of a change of approach tonight. I'm gonna fish two rods on the same spots that I did last night. And then I'm probably gonna fish a choddy over the top of that and scatter some half, half baits on there. So yeah, a bit of a change of approach, but we'll see, hopefully I'm Hopefully something will change for me, a bit of luck, but yeah. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, we'll keep you posted. Well, today's absolutely flown by after Josh had that fish earlier. We tried to beat the rain getting the rods out, but we weren't very successful with that. We've been out in the boat for the last couple of hours and it's absolutely poured it down. We've got drenched, but yeah, I'm really happy with how the, um, the rods have gone out. So yeah. what about you? Are you happy I'm, with yours? I'm more than happy just going out in boat together. That was just a different ball game because that wind yesterday just absolutely nailed it. Yeah, it made it, it so much easier. Just being able to get somebody to, to sort of row while we're getting back to the the bank yeah just keeping your keeping that straight, line straight yeah, yeah so that much better but, but i reckon it really could happen tonight yeah so we've um we've decided to have a bit of a change up we've put two washing lines out mainly to keep the line out of the water and um yeah just try and keep it a bit stealthy my my left hand rod is is a washing line mainly because i'm trying to keep line out the water let the fish come in under it without knowing that i'm there so yeah, it could get, could get me an extra bite yeah. I really do think they will do it because, like you said, they're not fish from from them angles, are they? Everything's directly yeah. to the spot, and just going that little bit, yeah. doing that little bit more can often get you that little more well, more of a bite, can't it? Yeah. Obviously, you've got your washing line out on your middle rod, but that's yeah. kind of allowing just, them to get back in and out yeah. if they really need to. So I think if if I'm honest, I want that right hand rod to intercept them coming back and forward from Ireland, and that left hand rod. It just had to go on a spot that I was fishing this morning, so it's yeah, about you had a fish it, off so. of it, so it was silly not to put a rod on there, really. But I've yeah. I've changed one of my rods, put it into a more open water spot. There was some low lying weed and as I said earlier, it was it just smelt like carp. So I've dropped a rig on that, got some crumb boily and, and crushed over the top. Just gave it a good scattering and I'm seeing fish down yeah, there. So there's, there's a lot quite a lot of bow wakes coming out of there. So there's a fair few fish down in that corner now. So yeah. See what tonight brings. Yeah, get the barbecue on and we'll see where it goes from yeah, there. Sounds yeah. like a plan. Well, um, we've just finished this barbecue now, and if I'm honest, it went down a lot better than last night because it probably took us two hours to even get get it going. But it's a lot quicker tonight, wasn't it? Just yeah. Than dodgy barbecues. Yeah, we we'll get coconut briquettes there. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was good. Yeah. Like the sausage. Yeah. What more can you ask for? But <laughs> that's it. A man loves a sausage, doesn't he? <laughs> 
No, it was good. It was good. <laughs> there was a lot of meat. A lot of meat. Not much to go with it. So, no, it was good. We've still got some burgers to go. <laughs> yeah, that's we'll it. We'll be cooking them in the oven. Yeah, I think we'll get them cooked and then I think we'll call it a night, eh? And yeah. See what happens at first light. Yeah, yeah, it's gone. The temperature's definitely dropped down, isn't it? So. Yeah, I think it's the first time I've worn two jumpers since early spring. So yeah. it's dropped tonight. Yeah, it's definitely quiet as well. So yeah, yeah, hopefully we'll hear a few in the night and hopefully in the morning we'll have a fish to hold it for the camera. So until then, we'll leave you to it. Yeah, see what happens. Well, um, it's final morning this morning, and as you can see with Miss Rising, it's absolutely freezing. It's coldest night this autumn. I think it dropped to about six degrees last night. But if I'm honest, I think it's kind of killed fishing a bit. We've not really seen that much this morning, not up this end anyway. There's been a couple up near Dan, but we've got a few hours left and we're gonna see what happens. Another disappointing night for me. Woke up without a bleep on the rods, so, um decided to wind them in and I've come down here again stalking. I heard a fish down here this morning so I thought, you know what, nothing's happening in open water, nothing's happening on the, the rods that I was fishing so I thought, you know what, give it last chance saloon and come down here and do a bit of stalking for the last couple of hours and see how it goes. I've seen the pads knocking a couple of times, one showed twice just off the back of them so yeah we're in with a shout, that's all we can do at the minute and yeah, just got to keep my fingers crossed that one of them drops down and, and has a bite. And we'll go from there. But at the minute, I'm just gonna sit back, chill out, and hope that something stupid enough to pick up my rig, basically. But yeah, gonna get the kettle on again, because I've just finished my brew, so I'll speak to you soon. So after we last caught up, I um, wound the rod in probably half an hour later. Just wasn't any fish present in that sort of area. So did a lap around the lake, spent a fair while walking around. Finally found, managed to find some fish in the pads in front of me here and just around the corner. So I thought no better opportunity, wound the rod in, came back around here and yeah, it's finally happened. It's not the biggest fish in the world, but you know what? I spent that much time walking around, that much effort getting up early. I I'm just happy. <laughs> I don't really know what to say to be honest, it's yeah, just buzzing that I've caught one. It's been not easy, but it's in the net now and that's what matters. Okay, so I'm gonna slip it into the sling now and um, get it around the corner. The ground around here isn't very even, so there's not really anywhere to do any pictures. So yeah, I'm gonna walk around the corner and we'll get some better pictures and video there. So see you in a minute. Here's a result of all that effort, walking around the lake, constantly looking for them, getting up early. It's been an absolute slog, but you know what, I wouldn't change it. I've waited for a long time to get one of these Dolly Mill carp on the bank, and you know what, I'm absolutely buzzing. 
it's not been easy at all. It's been a struggle, but here we are. This is the result of it. So I'm going to slip this one back, go and get a cup of tea. Yeah, we've got not got long left now, but um, we'll see if we can get another one on the bank for you. If not, what a way to sign off. One last look at her then before she goes back. Thank you very much. I really enjoyed catching this one. Hard work, but here we go. Yes. It's been a couple of hours since I had that fish, but yeah, it's gone quiet now, isn't it? So I think it's time to wind the rods in and get, get moving. There's not really much happening anymore, is there? No, I think having that fish this morning for you, I think that's definitely knocked bite time completely. But it's definitely paid off just going around, walking around for a few hours and finding them fish in pads. Yeah, I haven't been that relieved in a long time. I was yeah. feeling the pressure, I must admit. But yeah, pulled it out of the bag in the end. It's just, yeah, just one of them things, isn't it? This Taking is it, right it's the last not exactly second. easiest of lakes, is it? So for us both to come and catch, don't get me wrong, they're not the biggest fish of Dolly Mill, but it's still a pleasure to actually catch one out of here because just yeah. what the place is in general and being privileged to fish it, that's a bonus as well. Yeah, it's been nice sort of sitting in the hut in, of the evening, getting out the rain when it's when it was pouring and we're not out in the boat and yeah yeah just been nice enjoying the and experience like in, experiencing it really isn't it so it's been nice not being bivy bound as well with all that rain yesterday just actually sat together tying rigs up and making a plan between us because if not it's like you just sat on your send you know what i mean yeah and it's different yeah i mean we're not a million miles away from each other and it's just sort of yeah just nice chilling out having a chat talking through what we're doing and just battering ideas off each other really isn't yeah, it yeah so. this is it work to the team and then Ultimately, we've got two fish on bank. And yeah, yeah, it's been an absolute slog, isn't it? But yeah, it has been hard. I've enjoyed every second of it. Learned a lot as well. Learned a lot about the last 40 hours. Massive, like just some little tweaks that we can do to, to put fish on the bank going forward as well. So things that we can take elsewhere as yeah, well. Yeah, so. this is it. This is it. Well, that's us then. Thank you very much for watching. And yeah, we're going to wind the rods in now and get ourselves on the road. I've got a two hour journey and I know you've got just over an hour. And yeah, so that's it. Yeah. Yeah, get on the road and get home. Yep. Right. Thank All you. Best.